Good morning, and welcome back to Hiking with Kathleen. Well, I think we're getting one of our last blasts of winter here. Uh, we're heading into uh, the fourth week of February, 2022, and uh, I brought my heavy duty cleats for this, for scaling this particular downward grade. I'll show you what they look like, and I'll show you why I'm still standing. The weather we've received in recent time has been a big melt a few days ago and then we had some more snow and overnight we've had freezing rain and some pretty snow. So I'm looking forward to the hike today because there'll be some fresh tracks and just beauty that happens after a fresh snowfall. Stay with me, won't you? It's pretty out here. <laughs> but with the snow falling and being driven into my eyes, hard to see the beauty. So this is the kind of weather where you have to worry a bit about your equipment in terms of uh, its uh, exposure to moisture. So I've got a small Canon camera that I, it's more of a compact one that I use for landscape and I have it tucked away in a camera bag right now. And that way it won't get uh, unnecessarily um, wet from this falling snow. Um, it doesn't work really well in cold temperatures either, so I'm trying to preserve it so that when I get to some really pretty scenery that I stop and uh, and focus on, that I'll be able to use it then. This other Canon camera, which has a, an EOS R, is weather sealed, so it should be okay. And then you'll see I'm walking around with my binoculars with their lens cap on the top and that's just so that I can use them without having all kinds of moisture inside the lens uh, eye cup area when I'm ready to use them. Okay, we're gonna continue on and uh, you know, even if we don't see wildlife, there's all kinds of tracks around. So there's lots of beauty ahead of us.
So it's been really neat. I've been able to just focus on a great blue heron that flew into this area while I was standing here. Um, so it just shows the magic of standing still. I've been here for about 10 minutes and it didn't even notice me. And when it did come to realize, because it would know that I'm here now, it wasn't alarmed because I was standing very still. So in other words, I'm not approaching, I'm not making loud noises, and it doesn't feel threatened. So it landed on the other shore, across the creek from me. Those Canada geese swam over to it. Um, and so if you just sort of blend in to the natural environment, even though we do stand out like a sore thumb in some ways, animals will just continue on their natural, with their natural behavior uh, once they realize they don't feel threatened by you. So that's been a really beautiful sighting this morning. I'm listening to a flock of crows. Not sure what it is that's upsetting them, but I mean, they certainly are on high alert. So sometimes it's a bird of prey or some other predator. And uh, the intent is usually to drive it away because it's, uh, they're trying to drive away some sort of a predator they feel unsafe about. So. Anyway. Otherwise, it's just a beautiful morning out here. It's hopefully one of the last really cold ones. Uh, it's not that bad out today. Uh, so this is a, a morning where it's crystal clear sky, minus 11 degrees Celsius, including the wind chill. And then I think we're getting into some positive temperatures as we move further into this week. So we'll see what there is on this trail ahead of us.
So while hiking along this trail, um, I'm away from that frozen body of water, which was a bog. So I'm just going through the accompanying woodlot and I'm following the tracks of something that has uh, blood on perhaps a foot, a uh, foot pad has been uh, bleeding. Now, granted, I don't know if it's a pet or if it's something, uh, you know, that an inhabitant of the woodlot, but I'll, I'll show you what I mean. So it just means something's been injured. Um, probably not prey, it's something that has uh, blood coming from its foot because every step with that particular limb is uh, putting out fresh blood and it's, it's actually fairly fresh. So, yeah, it just shows, I guess, something's been injured. It's injured its paw and uh, maybe got cut on, on uh, ice or something. I don't know. But anyway, it's, uh, it's too bad because you know that something's in pain. Okay, I'm not too far from where I last spoke. And I can see there's uh, a little bit of a larger pool of blood. But again, I... I don't really have any clues as to what this is. Yeah, so it doesn't look like a kill site or anything. Okay, I'll just let you take this in. It's a bird of prey being mobbed by crows. So just had a chance to spot some deer tracks there and they were heading in the direction towards the bottom of the screen. Sometimes these open areas are very helpful that way because it's where animals pass through and their tracks leave evidence of that.